What's up, Eagles fans? Welcome into the All-22 Review driven by AAA. I'm your host, Fran Duffy, and today we're going to take a look at some of the big plays from the Eagles' loss to the Green Bay Packers on the road at Lambeau Field. A couple of plays that we're going to break down here. Certainly some interesting things on offense, some things to get into on defense. we got a little bit of special teams to break down as well, so we're going to touch on all three phases here on this breakdown, but really it all starts on the opening drive offensively, and the Eagles were able to move the ball incrementally down the field. They did get some points on this opening drive, and really a lot of it was based on the run game. I liked a lot of the things the Eagles did early on. They get, moved Carson Wentz out of, the, out of the pocket a little bit, created some easy throws, but really some of the biggest plays to help get the Eagles into field goal range with the run game. And we're going to see here on this long play by Miles Sanders, eight yards, and we'll just kind of break down the mechanics of what makes this play work. You're going to get a three receiver side, a three by one set, and basically what you're going to have is the offense on this side is going to look like it's going to be pass. And then on this side, it looks like it's going to be run. So you're breaking it up, really kind of cutting the defense in half. It's going to be run game at the bottom, pass game at the top. So we're going to take the snap here and see exactly what Carson Wentz is looking at. At this point, called the mesh point, he's reading one of these defenders. And we can't really tell from this angle which one he's reading, but he's reading one of those Packers defenders. And basically, depending on what that defender does, he is either going to hand this ball off to Sanders or he's going to throw it to one of these receivers on the back side. And you can see they're kind of running a little two-man concept here with Zach Hertz and Greg Ward. He's hoping one of those guys will kind of break open. You can even look on the back side in the offensive line. These guys are in pass protection, Jack Driscoll and Jason Peters. But you're going to see these defenders, they kind of stay back and defend the pass, right? So that means that Carson Wentz, he is going to hand this football off to Miles Sanders. So. The block you're going to get is you're going to get Jordan Mailata and Isaac Sayamalo blocking down on those two defensive linemen, and you're going to get Jason Kelsey pulling around a little fold block to get the play side linebacker, and that's going to leave Miles Sanders one-on-one -on -one in the hole, kind of following him off. Travis Fulgham's going to run this defensive back down the field, and you get eight yards. Nice pickup here on first and long after a penalty to get the Eagles back and on schedule as an offense. They're able to cross midfield. Jake Elliott comes through with a long field goal. Eagles offense gets on the board early on. All right, let's take a look at the first defensive drive of the game and this sack by defensive tackle Javon Hargrave. He's lined up here as the three technique against the left guard. In this game, it is Lucas Patrick because coming into the game, Corey Lindsley, Green Bay starting center, he's out. So that means you're going to move Elton Jenkins, the left guard, over to center. You're going to take the right guard, Lucas Patrick. You're going to move him over to his first start at left guard for this Green Bay team. So that's the one-on-one -on -one matchup, Hargrave against Lucas Patrick. You're going to have the center helping out on Fletcher Cox. That creates this one-on-one. -on -one. Now, what Patrick's going to do, instead of taking a traditional pass set where he's going to drop back and vertical set, he's going to go with a quick set and try and get on top of Hargrave very fast. But what Hargrave does here is great because when Lucas Patrick goes to shoot his hands, I want you to watch very closely and we'll play it in slow motion. Watch as you see Hargrave hands. He's going to win with what's called a forklift. He's going to take his two hands and push the offensive lineman hands straight up into the air. That allows him to then win clean and get into the backfield. We're going to let this play and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Watch both hands for the offensive lineman go right up in the air. Nice clean pass rush win there for Javon Hargrave. Good start for the Eagles defense in the first half. They gave up two touchdowns on the next couple drives, but good start there on a three and out to open the game. All right, let's fast forward to the Eagles' biggest play of the day offensively, their longest from scrimmage, and that's this long throw. So we're going to take a look. This comes out of 13 personnel. So 13 personnel, one back, three tight ends on the field. So the Eagles have all three tight ends on the field. The lone receiver is the rookie, John Hightower. You typically see speed threats on the field in 13 personnel just to kind of keep the defense honest because it's a run look typically with all three tight ends on the field. And then having that speed threat, the defense kind of accepts that you're going to have that speed throw on the outside just to keep the defense honest, stretch everybody out vertically. But John Hightower actually is not even going to release down the field on this play because you're going to see he's already starting his jet motion going to the flat. So here are going to be the three routes. Number one, you're going to get Richard Rodgers releasing out to the flat. You're going to get Zach Ertz coming on a crossing route. And then you're going to get Dallas Goddard releasing up to the second level and initially looking like he's going to run a corner route. So this essentially is a three level stretch, which historically has been one of the really staple concepts for Doug Peterson during his time here in Philadelphia. Three level stretch. Again, you're working one, two, three levels of the field, all at different depths, right? But 
that's not going to be the route from Dallas Goddard because he initially is going to work up the seam as if he's going to then run the corner, but then he breaks it back to the post. And as you're going to see, that's going to make this safety end up on the ground. We can let this roll for a second and we'll freeze it as the routes start to develop here. Again, you've got your three levels, right? Here's your first, your second, and your third level. Look at Dallas Goddard as if he's going to be running the corner route, but he's going to put his foot on the ground and break back towards the post. Now, the difficult part for this for Carson Wentz is he's rolling to his right, right? So he's going to make this throw rolling to his right to Dallas Goddard rolling to his left. That is not an easy throw to be able to make on the run, but Carson Wentz is able to see that the safety is going to fall down to the ground. He's got Dallas Goddard wide open, throws across his body, and is able to hit Dallas Goddard for the big play. Again, the longest play from scrimmage for the Eagles in this game gets them across midfield, and they're moving the ball. Unfortunately, not able to finish that drive with points. Now, get it forward a little bit later in the game. Eagles make that big change at quarterback. Carson Wentz goes to the sideline. The rookie, Jalen Hurts, comes in to take over here in the second half. And the biggest play from Jalen Hurts, certainly his first career touchdown pass to Greg Ward. We're going to see exactly what happens kind of here uh, on this play, at least the best we can from the TV angle. What you're going to get is a vertical route from Alshon Jeffrey. My guess is, based off TV copy without seeing it, is that he's going to run kind of a deep corner route. Then you're going to get a deep crossing route from Greg Ward, and then you're also going to get a vertical route on the outside. So all three of these guys are working vertically down the field. You're going to get Zach Gertz running basically a shallow check down route for Jalen Hurts. Now, it's fourth and 18 here, right? So the Eagles obviously trying to attack down the field. Best bet at that is going to be either Greg Ward or Alshon Jeffrey. Those are really going to be your best bets here for Jalen Hurts. Again, based off what we're seeing here from the TV copy. So we're going to let this play. Jalen Hurts is going to drop back. He's going to step away from the pressure, keep his eyes downfield. You like the poise here? Good touch hitting Greg Ward on the move for a touchdown. Nice job from the rookie, Jalen Hurts, hooking up with the young veteran Greg Ward for his first career touchdown. Really good stuff there to see from the rookie. So from one Jalen touchdown to another, let's take a look now at Jalen Rager's long touchdown on a punt return. And we're going to see here, obviously here's Rager getting ready to return this punt. A couple guys that I want you to see early on. Nice block here from Duke Riley, who's going to seal off this Packers defender, who's going to be one of the first guys down the field. Kayvon Wallace, the rookie safety, also doing a nice job holding up here and helping create some room for Jalen Rager. We can let this run. As you're going to see, there's the big block from Riley. Kayvon Wallace holding up. Nice job by Richard Rodgers, not getting a block in the back. At this point, Jalen Rager hits the sideline, and he doesn't really need any more blocks after this. You really like the speed here in the open field from Jalen Rager, but there's also one other sneaky thing. You see him outrunning the pursuit. Don't get tackled by the punter. Do not let the punter get you down, get you out of bounds. That's exactly what 18 does. Nice job by Jalen Rager making the punter miss, scampering into the end zone for his first career special teams touchdown. Did this a bunch in college at TCU. Nice to see him get into the paint here on special teams for this Eagles team. Gets the Eagles within a score. Obviously, we know how this ends. The Eagles do not win the football game. Long run by running back Aaron Jones really kind of seals the victory for Green Bay. But Look, there was some good, there was some bad to take away from this win. A lot that's going to be talked about uh, and deciphered from this matchup, but a lot that they need to prepare for, because guess what? The first place New Orleans Saints come to Lincoln Financial Field next Sunday afternoon. The Eagles have got to get things in order before the Saints come to town. Make sure you tune in, not just to the Eagle Eye in the Sky podcast fueled by Gatorade, but also Eagles game plan later, later this week on PhiladelphiaEagles.com. Thanks so much for joining us on the All-22 Review driven by AAA. I'm Fran Duffy. We'll talk to you next week. Fly, Eagles, fly.